Hi there, and welcome to Andy Robinson RC, and cheers for checking out the channel today. And on this episode, we have this rather awesome looking vintage four-wheel drive buggy. This is by AYK Racing, and this is the Radiant four-wheel drive buggy, and it looks stunning. Look at that thing. Absolutely gorgeous. Right, also, since we've got we're doing a video on AYK. I've got my AYK Boxer as well from 1986. Now, if you've not seen the video I did on this two-wheel drive buggy, then I'll put links into the description of this video, and you can always check that one out. Um, anyway, we're going to be looking at this, which is the Radiant four-wheel drive. Uh, this was uh, roughly released 1987, and um, as I said, I got this from a gentleman in uh, Leeds, who lives in the UK, and uh, very kindly uh, sold this to me. I actually won this via eBay, but he also was the same gentleman who I bought the uh, Hirobo Invader from. And again, if you haven't seen that video, I'll also put a link into the description. Now, the gentleman was called uh, Guillaume, and I hope I've got your name right. And um, I just want to say massive thanks for... Uh, let me be able to get those buggies off you. Really, really appreciate it. Now, you don't see that many AYKs come up for sale in general, and you certainly don't see that many come up for sale in the UK. And, and at the time I was um, buying Hirobo, uh, Guillaume, Guillaume had this for sale, um, but at the time it was just a bit out of my price range. Um, anyway, it came up for sale again, and this time I wanted to make sure I was uh, in a good chance, uh, have a good chance to get it, and, and luckily I did, and I got a, a really good deal, so massive thanks to Guillaume, I really appreciate um, you letting me have this off you, uh, fantastic, really pleased with it. Now, uh, I've got some uh, notes. That's right, it down. My brain just uh, wouldn't remember it all. So I said this was from 1987. Now, these were distributed by uh, Race Prep in America. Um, and you could have this with an optional two-speed transmission. Um, also, as well, uh, if you know of the AYK Maverick and Boost, they essentially share the same chassis platform as this. This is chain driven, uh, it's got a monocoque chassis, and it came with dog bones, oil shocks, uh, a, a combination of bearings and some bushings. Um, so yeah, this, this is what you've got. Now we'll take the body off and you can have a look at it closer up. Now also, um, in sort of about, about 1989, um, race prep were importing these as well, and uh, they be, they sort of renamed it the Radiant Pro. And what they did is uh, they put bearings throughout the kit. You got ball differentials. And um, what else did you get? And, um, and uh, different shocks. I think they were, they were better shocks than what came on the, the Radiant. And um, also the suspension arms that you can see here. They were orange on the uh, Radiant Pro. And also if you look at one of the models like the Boost. They were orange as well. Uh, again, if I've missed anything, do please let me know in the comments. Um, also as well, it wasn't the Radiant, but the Radiant Pro. Uh, it, it worked for um, race prep. I think he raced as well. But Mike Dunn of race prep finished seventh in the four-wheel drive class uh, in the 1989 IFMAR Worlds with a, uh, a pro radiant so it has got a bit of a racing pedigree as well which is cool um so yeah now also what i noticed as well is that um when uh, i was looking up this if you look on the box art for the uh, the radiant the tires are on the other way around you can see them there so if you look at the it's like the it's like a v pointing forwards now on the box art they're actually facing the other way. Now, I mean, I might put them back the other way, but I kind of, I kind of prefer them going that way. How, how much difference that'll make, I don't know. And of course, a lot of pictures you see, if you Google AYK 
uh, radian, you tend to see the tire direction going that way like this. But I don't know. I might I might put it back the other way as per box. So not sure yet. Anyway, uh, let's take the body shell off. The body shell is really nicely painted. Absolutely loving the uh, sort of metallic orange and metallic grey. It's gorgeous. So now this isn't running uh, yet, though it might be up and running quicker than the Herobo. Um, intruder that I bought as well so this might run before that one so this is as I uh, got it I've, not, I've done nothing with it other than put the wheels and tyres on because they were separate to the car in the box but that's it there you know what I mean you know, chassis wise it's not too dissimilar what you'd get on a KO show of a similar type buggy now as I said this is chain driven and if you look here I might bring the camera over for close up you can see the, the chain there. Also as well, it came with a rather nice AYK Magnum uh, 360 LB uh, racing motor. So uh, it's got the uh, gold sticker on. So lovely. It goes uh, rather well with the car. And we've got a steering servo in, which is a, uh, what we got there. Um, Futaba FPS 148. Uh, servo in for the steering so really essentially what it needs is basically um receiver an esc and we could get this running so my plan is to at least get this going so you, you can see it <laughs> trundle around i don't want to go too too hard on it because uh, god forbid i don't want anything to break on it and uh, i don't want to try and start hunting for uh, radiant parts if anything was to break well, we will get it going and at least uh, show it you show it you moving because uh, I think it deserves that. It's a lovely, lovely vintage four wheel drive buggy. Um, so I said, yeah, train driven. Uh, ch yeah, train chain driven, I should say. Um, so it's lovely stuff. It's got these uh, gold uh, anodized sort of uh, wheels uh, or chrome plated wheels. Very similar actually to the big wig uh, Mooncraft wheels. I think a little bit there. But, uh, you know, just cool, very at the time. It all goes really, really nicely uh, together, this. It's, uh, now, it is um, pretty much close to mint. Now, it's not 100% perfect, but it isn't far off either. Because uh, if you look under the bumper there, you see there's like a, a slight stress, stress mark where uh, the bumper sort of angles up. So a little stress mark there, and if you uh, look underneath, just on the um, alloy sort of uh, motor guard there, there's a, a tiny, so a few bit of chips and scuffs there, and just a few at the back there. But other than that, you know, it, it's pretty much mint, this thing. So to get it in this condition is absolutely awesome, and as well... Guillaume was uh, very nice and kind to send me a spare set of side chassis plates and a uh, top deck as well. So we have them in spares. Hopefully I'll never need to use them, but we've got them, so that's cool. But yeah, how cool is that? Now, this body, now, I don't know if this is an original uh, Radiant body or it's uh, sort of like one from... Um, Penguin bodies, or uh, what do you call them? Um, Team Blue Group. Not entirely sure. It's not a problem. But uh, when I was looking up info on this as well, there's uh, where the rear body mount goes for on the body. Um, there's there's hardly, you can see it there. There's hardly any lexan between the hole and the rest of the shell. So uh, people had commented when when these were being raised, if it took a bad. Uh, landing it was quite easy for the back of the body to split there I mean obviously this has not been used since it's been built up but uh, yeah I just thought it was a bit of an interesting point but yeah absolutely gorgeous and um, as I, if I've got any uh, anything wrong in my uh, with my info please do let me know in the comments also if you've, you've got one of these or you've had one of these that'd be cool to hear off you um, I like finding out about these uh, these buggies super chuffed super chuffed to get one of these though as soon as i saw it listed uh, up on ebay i thought 
Oh, I really want it. It's gorgeous. So, and um, I was a big fan. I really did like this AYK boxer as well when I got that. So I thought it was really nice to at least have a four wheel drive variant as well. So yeah, so any extra information would be awesome. I said, I know these evolved into the, so they had the Radiant uh, Pro, and uh, of course you had the, uh, eventually, uh, the Boost as well. Um, so, super cool buggies. I think those are ace. Yeah. And again, as I said, uh, I look forward to getting this. Uh, oops, I uh, took the pins off, haven't I? <laughs> Um, it's shell's not going to last uh, with me doing that, is it? Um, as I said, I really do look forward to getting this one up and running. And we, we should have this running, um, as I say, before the uh, the intruder. Intruder. Sorry, what am I on about? It's a different buggy, that. <laughs> the Herobo in, in uh, Invader. Now, I am actually as well, if anyone's watching this and they've got any um, Hirobo in Invader parts, I am ideally looking for um, some tyres for an Invader and um, a wing, and wing, no not a wing, sorry, the wing mount and the two rear body posts, ideally, if I could get hold of them that'd be awesome. Um, now tyre wise, I was looking for tyres and I nearly won some um, Hirobo Rocking City set of tyres but I, I just missed out on them and that that would have done I would have been quite happy with them so it would be nice to have genuine Hirobo tyres but and I would have been alright with them but if anyone's got any I could get off them uh, that'd be brilliant quite happy to buy them um, as a backup plan there's the um, the Grasshopper 2 tyres aren't a million miles away from the Hirobo Invader tyres so might be uh, that might be a last resort for me or what you can do as well as um new ad rf iconic rc recommended that if you get the low c mini 8 buggy uh, gpm alloy wheel clamps you can put them on and then you can fit 12 mil hex wheels on so that's another option as well uh, but i would kind of like to get if i can some tires that look like the ones that went on uh, the in, um, Invader. Now, I have actually got some genuine wheels now uh, for the Hirobo as well. Again, that was thanks to uh, Guillaume as well. He put me in touch with a gentleman called Martin and he had a set of uh, wheels for it. And in fact, he had that buggy uh, before Guillaume as well. So I ended up getting the wheels uh, that would fit it. So that was really cool. Anyway, uh, that's different projects, isn't it? So, um, yeah, let me know what you think of this. I think it's awesome. Really nice buggy. And uh, we're going to be looking at getting this running, hopefully fairly soon. It won't be anything crazy. I'll be probably shoving something like a 1060 hobby wing in it. And uh, getting a receiver in there. And we'll be giving this some sort of run. Also, as well, speaking of running, uh, I need to get the, the boxer out running as well. Because um, Michael Andrew, um, who I did a little short video on it, a little YouTube short, uh, last year sent me a, like, a mint Magnum 480R motor for this. Because I said, oh, I'd love to have a proper AYK motor in it. So I did promise uh, that we'd run this again with a, uh, a proper AYK uh, Magnum motor. So that's going to be done at some point this year as well. Uh, what we'll do is, before we wrap this one up, because it's an interesting buggy, uh, I'm going to bring the camera over and we'll do a bit of a, a walk around with it. Okay, I'm going to put that here and uh, I'll lift the shell off as well. You can have a close up. And we'll do this without making a huge mess and knocking everything. That's what usually happens. But yeah, I mean, look at that. That is one damn good looking vintage buggy. Nice, stunning. What we're going to do anyway, as I said, I'm going to now lift off the uh, body and you can get a closer look at that chassis. 
Oops, I am standing on my wire. But there you go. How cool is that? Come over there, you can see the rear, uh, the sort of the change for the chain drive as well, and that lovely Magnum 360LB uh, AYK motor. But yeah, that is in absolutely stunning, stunning condition. To get one as good as that, really pleased. So yeah, you can see the, uh, get a side view, you can see it a bit more, the side uh, chassis rails. Gorgeous. All right, well, what I'm gonna do is put the body back on. Uh, like that. There we go. As I said, there you go. How cool is that? Right, cheers for watching this one. We'll hopefully get this back on the channel soon and it'll be up and running. But yeah, thanks for checking this one out. Much appreciated as always. Also as well, we're now just less than 100 subscribers from hitting our 3K subscriber mark. So if you haven't already and you like the uh, content and you want to check out more of our content in future or past, then please consider subscribing to the channel. Also, come find us on Instagram or on Facebook under Andy Robinson RC. But right, there you go. That was the uh, AYK Racing Radiant four-wheel drive buggy from 1987. Cheers for checking this one out. And uh, we'll see you all very soon on the next one. Take care. See you later.